English, yes. Speaker. Well, I've never played this game, so let's what it's like. Movie was good. Newest Guardians movie. I liked it anyway. Warning a very small percentage of people will have epilepsy. If you have epilepsy, this game's really gonna get you. By proceeding ahead, yes, sure. I assume there will be a tutorial. <laughs> it usually is. Now walk me through this like I've never played a video game. Alan James, I think you'll love this game. So, it was on Super Sale on Steam, so it was like... 10 bucks and I had a gift card so it was like free and all the a lot of the reviews I was reading were people saying this this game was better than the movies and I was like wow I figured I'd give it a shot
Who's the guy with the scary eyes? He doesn't have a name. He's one of the space riders. And he's not scary. He's cool. Your space rider certainly got his hands full. Star Lord. Pretty far out! Nobody says far out anymore, Ma. <laughs> Ma! What? Nobody says far out anymore. Oh, well, your mom does. Maybe we should see if we could get tickets to see them live. Really? Mm hmm. Your mom may not look it, but I was quite the rocker when I was your age. <laughs> your father and I would just lie on the hood of my old Chevy and listen to Black Sabbath and. You like Black Sabbath? Like I said, your mom's cooler than you think. Oh, we'd look up at the stars and he'd tell me all about the places he'd been. Oh, right, because his dad's an alien. Mom? How about some cake, huh? Yeah, I'll be up in a sec. Planet, or... You said that 15 minutes ago. If you don't hurry, I'm gonna eat that whole cake myself. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I would. <laughs> you wouldn't. Yes, I would. Hey, watch the hair. <laughs> You've talked about you leaving your toys on the floor. It's not a toy. It's an action figure. Oof. More like an action landmine. Stab your foot. I will. He doesn't even... Never mind. Thirteen whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec. I promise. Right after I get abducted by right. aliens. Star Lord. So he's wearing like a Star Lord band shirt. Some people call him Star Lord. Okay. Oh man, I can't wait to play this. Maybe I can convince Annie to buy it with his paper out money. This will be worth hundreds of dollars someday. <laughs> Traveling through space must be amazing. Space again. The final battle was awesome. Looked like the heroes were done for, but they pulled it off. It's pretty crazy that all that destruction started from one little mistake. Oh yeah, video games. I gotta beat Janie's high score. This is embarrassing. Alright. That was unexpected. My great grandma is 84 and her favorite band is Black Sabbath. <laughs> Get a quilt, wake up. Holy crap, Drax. You gotta stop doing this, man. It's weird. We are approaching the quarantine zone. How long was I out for? 15,338 ticks. That's. Very specific. The betrayer is ready to begin her mission. She has requested your presence in the cockpit. Gamora's on our side, Drax. She is the spawn of my sworn enemy, a murderess and a traitor. I do not trust her. We'll try. We're supposed to be a team. I make no promises. Plasma rifles. Oh, it ain't just a junkyard. The quarantine zone's the biggest pile of galactic war debris in the known universe. 
Just think of all the tech we can find. I am Groot. Hey, it's on. Ah, oh, there you are, Quill. Tell Groot to stop worrying about getting arrested. I am Groot. I'm not overconfident. I'm just the right level of confident. <sighs> <laughs> arrested? For what? <sighs> Our ship just accidentally slipped into the quarantine zone. Oops. Our navigation malfunctioned. Oops. <sighs> How would we accidentally cross into the Novacore force field? Details! <sighs> Nice gizmos rocket. I'm calling them thumpers on account of the noise they make. Assuming we get past the force field and reach your coordinates in one piece, all we gotta do is set them up, and these babies are gonna draw out our monster in no time. <laughs> How's that even gonna work? The thumper goes beep, 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 and the monsters come running? Eh, it goes more like, uh, wah! Wah! <laughs> Holy holla, rocket! Stop this ruckus at once! <laughs> and then the monster comes a running out of its hole. Are you sure about that? Hey, all my intel came from your source. My sources are very reliable. Those coordinates are 100% pointing towards a rare, elusive, priceless creature. With no physical description to go by. What do you think elusive means? No matter what the monster looks There's like. No as long physical as it's got description. Ears, you can be sure my thumpers are gonna drive it right into our arms. How are you gonna know if you get the right thing or not? Alright. Round. Bathroom. Wonder if Drax was allowed to decorate his cell in the kiln. Probably not. What's my objective? Let's talk to Gamora, right, the mm. betrayer. Gamora? Up here, Peter. Hey, that's my chair. Oh, then why aren't you in it? I was, uh, strategizing. It's one thing to get into the zone, but we still gotta catch that monster. Right. So did I miss anything? Other than a ton of suspicious glares from Drax, not really. Now, if you're done strategizing, feel free to grab your seat. We're almost ready to go. Sword. A little weird seeing the different Peter versions Quill. of them, but we must soon discuss the status of my official Shogi team membership to... badge. Drax, once again, there is no official badge. <laughs> Obviously, you would not have one, Assassin. The small one indicated the procedure is a well guarded secret. Rocket, stop. Messing with him. Okay, here we go. That was pointless. Okay. Rocket, Groot, Drax, get in here. We're going in. We still have a few ticks before the next time window, actually. The next one? Novacore security guard resets every rotation. We want to be in and out before our code expires, or we'll get stranded. And if we wait for the next reset, we'll get a full rotation to do this. Nice. <laughs> oh, why is the Novanet still up? Thought we were going in. Well, it appears the Assassin's contacts are as untrustworthy as the Betrayer herself. Oh, please don't tell me Gamora's backdoor codes are bust. We nearly went broke getting them. Relax, Rocket. We still got a few ticks before the next time window. The network just reset. You can enter the sequence, Peter. 0451. That's it? Four digits? Suspicious. These security measures are too simplistic for Novacore. 
It's not that simple. The code only works on this date for this ship. Oh, I get it. Gamora's codes are more like an encryption key of some sort, designed to integrate temp- There! Okay, exploring is highly recommended. Well, I do love to explore. Thank you, Cal. I realized there was so much stuff left after the war. Restraint wasn't very popular in the Shatari army, especially with Thanos in charge. Yeah, it's probably all harmless now. I mean, Novacor had 12 years to get rid of the heavy duty explosives, right? <laughs> That's why I like you, Quill. You're so pure. Oh, the wonderful and terrible things I could do with all this tech. Stay focused, Rodent. We do not come here to scavenge. Why not? The Milano's weapon systems could use an overhaul. Plus, there's good money in it. The beast that we seek is far more valuable to the Monster Queen of Seknoth Nine than any illegally acquired salvage. Whoa! Oh, place is really shifty. I'm not seeing a monster. That big cylinder up ahead looks like the mining ship Peter's friend said to look for. <laughs> Friend. For a night? And you'll see the monster as soon as we place Rocket's monster summoning thingies. Flark, yeah. Group Quell Soda. Team Rocket's up first. I still do not understand why I must remain on board with the assassin. Oh, because you're part of Green Team. You assigned me to the team before you named it. My skin is not green, it's teal. That's <laughs> so funny. My brother was Listen, just talking to me about what to color Drax was. that mining Drax rig. We need was, to place said, on both you know the blue sides, guy. Sides, and I was like, teams. Drax is and green. And he just said he's teal. Drax That's so funny. That's our cue. Let's go, group. <laughs> Don't worry. Once the thumpers are placed, we'll meet in the middle and we'll capture the monster together. Very well. My baby. It's a ship, Peter, not a child. <laughs> what? The pink goop? It's custom nano resin, designed to keep all this war stuff from floating away. Yep. Being here definitely feels a little weird. Yo, Quill! These coordinates are so reliable. How come we're the only ones out here trying to catch this thing? I am Quill. Nah, it's totally safe. Now, can we please focus less on the toxic goo and more on all this cool war junk it's holding together? I'm broke. I didn't mean toxic, toxic. More, uh, don't put it in your mouth, toxic. Uh, okay. Guess we're taking the long way now? Oh! <sighs> you okay, Quill? Yeah, I think so. This, uh, pink resin stuff's definitely strong enough to hold this place together. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, probably strong enough. Everybody keep an eye out for any good scrap or components. I am Groot. I know the monster is the first priority. Okay. You find something we can sell? Nah, just some old correspondence. You know how I like to brush up on galactic war history. Um, no? Don't think I've ever seen you read anything without pictures. I read plenty of non-picture stuff. Don't worry. It's safe to walk on. Mostly. That's why Green Team's on the Milano. Heck of a lot more dangerous to fly around in here. I heard that. <laughs> I'm thinking Green that big team. cylinder thing is our rendezvous. Yeah, that's the mining rig. Hey, Travis, so good to see you. It's all clustered together like this. Bits and pieces of a war that span the entire galaxy held together by pink goo. Ebrium-based nano-resin. 
Whatever. I'm just saying, it's a lot to take in. Pink goo. What's up, Travis? Peter Quill. The insubordination of the assassin has become insufferable. Oh, look! Yellow and blue. Looks like an old Novacore frigate. Nice! Come on, dude. People probably died on that ship. Killjoy, why do you even bring us here if the place is so sacred? I can name at least a dozen planets with monsters on them, so why here? You think it's to impress Gamora? Like, don't know if you noticed, Rocket, but people aren't exactly falling over themselves to hire us. Oh, I have noticed. If this job pans out, sure we'll get money, but also a rich new client. We need to impress Lady Hellbender with a monster she's interested in, not just any old critter. Which is why we should have gone after Fin Fang Foom. We won't impress no one if we're dead. <laughs> Whoa! Okay. Lime. I'm okay. Ha! Almost made yourself a very late war casualty. You know, I like this. This is fun. The three of us hanging out, just like when we started this gig, before you know who okay. joined us. Good trip. I do not hate everybody. I tolerate Quill. Quill's a swell guy. <laughs> The three of us have had some good times. Remember the gig on Draconius? <laughs> the locals did not appreciate us hauling them onto our ship. Careful on that thing, Quill. You spot something out there? It's not. It is strange. I have not encountered any corpses in the wreckage. Hmm. Probably got disintegrated when the ships went kaboom. Or, the nano-resin absorbed them. Could explain its propagation. <gasps> or, the closed atmosphere accelerates decomp, and any body is just dust by now. I will require a vigorous scrubbing when this mission is complete. Whoa! I fell off the side. Okay, that was embarrassing. As soon as I jumped on that... Uh, ramp, I was like, I'm awfully near the edge of this thing. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, pretty sure that way's a dead end. Eh, uh, you sure? Ah, there we go. Path's this way. Come on! How can you even tell? Just trust me, alright? Hey, group, you think we can find pieces of the Tryon shard in here? You never heard of the Tryon shard? A pyramid of pure evil that corrupts everything it comes in contact with. Uh, you happy, Quill? You found the thing. I told you was there, but you didn't listen. That's it. Walk of shame. <sighs> I thought maybe of there'd be an item did. over there. I told him. I'm not gonna take the time to read all this stuff. I told you. We ain't gonna get caught. You done gloating? Oh, I am never done gloating. Yep, classic me. Huh. Yeah, I'm sure it's safe, bitch. Safer than flying with Kimura anyway. I heard that. Watch your step, guys. This junk isn't as stable as we think. That is one big mushroom. Uh, fungus, bacteria, mold, space gunk. You know, call it what you want. It's still in the way. Brittle material. I'm guessing that's what I need to go get through over there. That brittle stuff. <laughs> Take that brittle stuff. 
Ugh. I hate these ship-eating parasites. Flarkers would shoot right through the Milano in two cycles. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> nice splatter. Hey, 50 units says I can clear more of these suckers than you. As if. Whoa, what the? Rocket, did you do that? The scoreboard? You like it? Hacked it into your visor cover last time you took a snooze. You hacked into my stuff? Considering how many times I fixed the flarkin' thing, it might as well be my stuff. Go back, you can find a costume. Optimal thumper placing distance should be just up ahead. There. I'm thinking right in front, through the giant hole where this ship's cockpit used to be. Well, that's grim. Uh, yeah, try not to think about it. It's better not to wonder what happened to anyone working on these old wrecks. It was a long time ago. That's no big deal. I'm just gonna continue on. Just, uh, thought I saw a shortcut. shortcut. Right. Go ahead without me. I'll catch up. Okay. There's a craft out Novacore missile bay just on the other side. We'll meet you there. Yellow and blue missile bay. Got it. It says, like, upgrade available. Okay. I'm guessing I can't upgrade stuff yet. Be warned. I was attacked by strange creatures. I had to drop down to get it. Okay, <laughs> well. Okay. Crawling through creepy old ship. No big deal. Easy there, Quill. Pretty sure nothing's gonna jump out at you. Except maybe me and Groot. It is good to be doing physical labor again. Kinda hard to believe you were a farmer. I was a warrior. Working the soil can be a I really doubt pulling weeds is as good as pulling ice. Oh, trying to bring the whole place down, Quill? I shot a thing. I get it. First tool in the old toolbox. <laughs> now this brings back memories. This again. Lights out, eyeballs! Stay back! Do not relent, Peter Quill! He told us to go! He'll be fine! Oh! It's like popping a zit! 
Everything okay over there? Quill nearly got himself eaten by a blob or something. Should've heard him squeal. You must fight with dignity, Peter Quill. Or at least die with it. Not funny! Keep saying upgrade available, but I see that so. Hey, Drax, what makes you so sure this Hell Lady is gonna buy our monster? Her name is Lady Hellbender. A collection of rare creatures is outdone only by the wealth she showers on those who procure them. Uh, Quill, we got a lot riding on your gal pal's mystery monster tip. I hope she's legit. I'm Groot. Like you could even tell if she had an honest face. I'm Groot. Yeah, she did smell like Trust in the plan, guys. Everything is checked out so far, right down to the mining ship. We put our thumpers in the right places and we'll back- Mother of Scott! Are you kidding me? Son of a smash! That was too close! You okay, Groot? Well, we're fine, but we can't jump that. You don't gotta jump. There's a sturdy support beam on this side. Get Groot to grow a bridge across. Just ask him nice like. He does it for me all the time. All right, Groot. Let's see that cool bunny thing. Oh, That's one hell of a party trick, big guy. Gross! More ship eaters! Ah, oh, they're everywhere! Oh, I can't stand these things chewing up all this beautiful salvage. All right, back to business. Boom, right under your nose, Quill. So, Drax, how come you're so in love with this Hellbender lady? I do not love Lady Hellbender. I can hear your visor working. Better not be cheating on our bet, Quill. How can you hear that? Do I look worried? The resin will hold. I am Groot. You ain't that heavy. I seen this goop anchor a Shatari Dreadnought. We'll be fine. Groot, I found a hitch. Can you latch onto it? I'm Groot. Hey, Greenies. You see any blue and gold ships out there, you will let us know. We have seen many such ships. He means active ones. We haven't talked about what to do if we run into a Nova Corps patrol. Uh, we'll restrain them until you're done here. Bad idea. Those cops are all connected through their stupid helmets. If they do spot us, all they have to do is close that barrier and we're stuck. If you see cops, you get my ship out of here. Even if it means leaving us behind. Uh, flark that! Trust me, I've dealt with Nova Corps before. Even helped them catch real criminals. I can talk my way out. You think the Milano can outrun a fully powered Nova Centurion? She's done it before. Gamora, when are you gonna share your contacts and sources? When will you share yours? What? You know about all my guys. Only that you've got a guy that makes the booms, you've got a guy who can reconstruct faces. Okay, here we go. You can only get upgrades at a workbench. Right. Okay. Set her down right there. Yep, one to go. Clark! No! No! Flark and Skaggy! Attack and batteries fried, that's what's wrong. Maybe you put it down too hard. Let's just find a solution. The solution's a new battery. So much for that. 
Of course we're going the right way. Just... Can you use this missile? Sure I can. To blow us to pieces. Keep looking. <laughs> hey! A huge power generator! How do we hook it up? We don't! That thing would toast our little bumper. Can't we condense the power through a routing funnel or something? Don't try to make up tech stuff. It's irritating. Find something <laughs> else. So what do I gotta do to get a last name like Drax's? Catathians have no need for surnames. What about the Destroyer? It is a moniker to mark the countless the I slaughtered during the shape of period of untempered rage. Yeah, one of those! Got an oxygen pump here. No good. It would draw power directly from the ship. Right. Yeah. I knew that. Rocket, a charged battery. Found something with a charge. Kind of looks like a spacey car battery. Okay, this thing isn't gonna zap me, right? The chance is minuscule at best. You'll be fine. What are you waiting for, Quill? Grab it. Here you go. That'll do nicely. Just let me tinker a bit. I'll have to do some tweaking once I see how much juice this thing puts out. So, uh, watch my back. Watch it from what? Uh... Just grab the battery and give it a yank. Fucking monster things! Everyone get ready! Root is a defender. Crowd control. What is that crack? Bye bye, little guy. Is that the sound of his roots doing that? That's super. Then cool. keep your distance. Go. They're really coming out of the woodwork. I have not encountered any structural. If I don't fix this thing, I'll keep coming! Good! Use that beer! Kill them all! Plus one for me! Wow, just in time. I'd like to see you fix it next time. Come on, two down, two to go. I don't see any way out of the missile bay except that passage, bud. Well, we found a way out. Groot's wondering if the reward's gonna be worth all the risk we're taking for this job. Me and Groot are nearly unkillable, but what if the rest of you don't make it out alive? Guys, we deliver this monster to Lady Hellbender, we'll get bigger payouts, and jobs that don't suck. A ship for each one of us! I mean, a team only needs one ship. Perhaps a more spacious ship. What? No! I love my baby! Uh, of course it's the worst space ration flavor. This one tastes like dollar store cat food. Makes her teeth oily. Well, come on, man. I don't. Okay. <laughs> I guess I don't need that. Is that why he's not picking it up and taking it? I don't know. All this firepower. Now it's all just scrap. I am Groot. 
Yeah. Sorry, bud. Sorry about what? Groot's people never even got a chance to fight. Whole Daston planet was torched at the start of the war. Man! That thing is ridiculous! Think it was a ship or a robot? That's a Cree Sentry. A robot, but it would have been spaceworthy. Uh, <laughs> that ain't even the biggest one. They designed at least five experimental models twice that size. Impressive, but I could fly circles around something that big. Give me a fast and sexy M-Class scout over those things any day. I do appreciate that sweet Ravager pirate tech. She's made for hidden runs. <laughs> and boy, can she run. She can hit too. There's always room for Get more firepower. This, rocket. That sentry probably took on whole fleets. Don't worry, I ain't even gotten serious yet. Ah, shoot. Quill, I hear you scanning. We know the monster we're looking for ain't one of these things we already killed. If it were worthy of Lady Hellbender's collection, it would not die so easily. Hope we know this thing when we see it and not after we stopped it. on what this monster's gonna look like? How many legs? Like, uh, more than four? It will be majestic. What does that look like? We shall see. Pick it up. Oh. I need you to shoot a bridge right into that eye socket. Now, I want to see you do that to something in combat. Wait, is that... Yes! I'm about to win this bet, Quill! Goes nothing. <laughs> We're inside a giant robot head. And I got robot parts inside my head. You have robot parts inside your head. Bam! <laughs> Found a nest! Maybe this is the Parasite Clubhouse! If you're having fun, speaks for itself. Are you scanning for targets? How's that bet going over there? I am crushing this. Just you wait. I'll be catching up in no time. Yeah. 
Don't congratulate him. Well, I know what I'll be doing with my winnings. I'm saving up for our next stop on Contraxia to get one of those Zeronian massages. Ugh, you're so predictable. No, we can't take the giant robot home. And believe me, that's a painful sentence for me to say. Let's see. When I beat Quill, I'm gonna get my hands on some rotating hyper circuits. Boo! No one knows what those are! Status update is I'm definitely gonna win. Status update about the actual mission rocket. We're down to three thumpers left. What do you think, Drax? Should we get in on this bet? Think of all the hyper circuits you can buy. Are you making fun of me? I do not wish to acquire hyper circuits. Just so we're clear, Green Team is officially ineligible for the bet. Why? Well, for one, you need a gun. No need for a projectile weapon. Imagine something this big coming at you. A whole ship was like a bug by comparison. You know what, Quill? <laughs> I think it's unfair. You got two guns, I got one. I think my points should count double from now on. That's cheating. All right, bumper goes there, Quill. Hey, bumper ain't gonna install itself. It's not gonna piss off every critter around, right? Sorry, Quill. Not taking no chances after the last one. I gotta test it real quick. Not again. Rocket! I only flipped the switch on and off to see if it started. Yeah, tell them that. Gotta love that kill rate. Rocket's a weapon expert who attacks from a distance. Multiple targets. Killing party favors! I knew I was missing all the fun last time! I heard it! I thought we were safe! Oh, come on! Now we gotta deal with junk slugs? Don't talk at it! Shoot it! Very helpful, thanks! You're welcome! Now stop distracting me! Come on! 
can't just give yourself points like that. <laughs> oh, what a jerk. Okay. Great job. We'll meet you at the mining ship. Ability ship. point. Unlock your first ability. Finally. Okay. Rocket! Do you have a plan for where we're gonna keep this monster once we've caught it? I figured it could have your room. There's hardly anything to mess up in there. As opposed to your room, which looks like it's already been messed up by a monster? Hey! I got a system! Everything's where it's supposed to be. All right, mining rig is right there. Of course it's secure. As secure as a broke down Shatari shipwreck's ever gonna be. It's totally safe. See? I'll even prove it. Huh? Look at this. <laughs> Rocket? Oh, fuck. Guys, jump! Go! 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 I'll meet us at the mining ship. I don't want to make him wait. That's it? We're not going after him? He says it's fine. We'll meet him later. Team Rocket, is everything okay? The root signal just went dark. His radio must have broken when he fell. What happened to your timber companion? He ain't timber. He's alive. Fell. I, I really don't know if you're being clever or dumb right now. Team Rocket, out. Huh. Sounds like green team's off our backs. Now we can stop worrying about that, uh, dumb accident. Groot's fine anyways. There's nothing to worry about. Not like I could have prevented that old, rusted ship from keeling over. An accident rocket? Come on! What? That's all it was. It's your fault! If you hadn't fooled around on that ship... I did it. You don't know nothing. Stop trying to be smart. That sure didn't sound like an apology. Nope. one who's fed up with how much this entire junkyard stinks? Smells kind of like old fruit. Yeah, that's uh, one of the smells. How many are there? Uh, well... I'd say between two and three thousand. I can't believe I fixed that thing for you and you're using it to play dirty! You're paranoid! Man, if that afterburner kicked on right now, we'd be toast. Let's hope it don't, because we have to find a way through this thing. Mining ship's on the other side of that turbine, so we gotta find a way through. Try not to jump on anything this time. Groot's not there to grab you if you... Well, either shut up or help me figure out how these blades open. There's a drone access tunnel over here. Too bad we don't got a drone. <sighs> we have and a raccoon. you squeeze in there. Knew it. Rocket, fix the thing. Rocket, clean up the mess. Rocket, crawl into the mystery hole. 
See anything? Yeah, <laughs> a manual override. Team Rocket, we hit a snag. One of our thunder points was covered in resin, so we're gonna fly around and scout another spot. Just make sure the new spot's as close as possible to the original one. Because of maps and angles. Great, another turbine. Yeah, that is how these things are usually built. Pew, pew. What? It's stuck on something. And boop. Someone's been practicing. Come on, let's get out of here. We're back on track. The mining ship ain't too far. Think Groot's already ahead of us? Maybe. Oh, crap, 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 crap! It wasn't me this time, I swear! I don't like this! <laughs> One for me! That point don't count before death! I'm pushing this thing with muscles I didn't even know I had! I told you I saw them. Great timing! How did you guys... Good to see you two. You're gonna want to cross the ship as fast as you can. Oh, thank you, Joel. We're seeing a lot of movement. Yeah, Scott's getting real violent out here. Uh, just try to hold her still for us. That's not gonna be an option soon. This position is untenable. Drax says incoming! Watch out! What? Supernova. Is it broken? Uh, overload, it sounds like. Must be some kind of residual energy in here. Uh, come on! Clark and Tensor Joint, just neat. Uh, wiggle the. Uh, okay, so life support moving back up. What's it look like out there? Oh, mother of space. Just... old cleaner bots maybe old cleaner bots I don't know Leave that there. 
Sorry about the shoot. Yeah, thought you were that freaky thing we accidentally released. Saw! We saw some cleaner bots. <laughs> accidentally. At a distance. I am good. We're totally all right. They just ran away when it saw us. Right, Quill? I am good. Rocket, I'm not so sure that swarm thing was inoffensive. I feel kind of bad about releasing it. I am good. Quill took a pot shot at this massive worm nest. A chunk of something fell off and the big floaty creature came out of it. That's all. Oh. We just got a new outfit for, useful... for Groot. I gotta say, that looks cooler. Watch for useful scrap. If you ain't got enough pockets, get creative. Now you're talking. <laughs> if only we could all grow pockets. get a weird vibe off this place maybe it's haunted haunted with what you know ghosts oh please well here you go rendezvous coordinates are that way but we'll have to find a way around the rubble I'll try to find a side passage <laughs> look at this old beauty workbench a table this is a vintage Model T engineering workbench. They don't make them sturdy like that no more. Hey, come on, Quill. Let's see if this beauty still works. Maybe I can fix up your gear. Hey, hand me that part. Getting into the rig? Good. I, I was pretty worried about you. Ta-da! Hey, Quill! Groot says there might be something behind the big unit over here! And voila! Oh, extra health, extra shield. Man, I should've gone... No. That is dodge, right? Dash. Gotta be the same thing. Oh, and you can choose different elements. I probably only have one right now. Yeah, there's a way through if we can clear out that crud. Rapid reload. Ah, yeah, that's one stubborn bunch of lore. Try that quick cooldown I installed, so you can keep helping it. Oh yeah! Nailed it! <clears throat> and, uh, thanks for the upgrade. Alright, let's squeeze our way out of here. So, that thing we set free... Uh, what thing? I didn't see a thing. Uh, definitely don't want to talk about no thing. <laughs> Amazing. Team Rocket, 
Finally. Team we couldn't hear you before. Something about the mining should have been messing up our comms. Yeah, something really ain't right in here. And Quill fell down another hole. Another one. I'm parking the Milano, but Drax is out there searching for you. Maybe you'll find Quill before we do. We're trying to catch up to him. Guys, we really need to get better at the buddy system. She is not my buddy. I will find you, Peter Quill. Describe your surroundings. Uh, old metal, old mining equipment, just old. Huh. I wonder if Rocket knows what this is. What a weird bunch of stuff to mine. What was it? I don't know. Weird cubey hunks of rock or metal. Place is old equipment. Oh, another freaky thing! How freaky? Kill it! You read my mind! This thing refuses to die! I can barely scratch it! Kill it harder! I'm killing it as hard as I can! woman in the galaxy high damage so she's an assassin you greenies found quill yet found and save hey go on ahead then we'll catch up just making a uh, pit stop i parked the milano near the last thumper spot we'll head that way and keep an eye out for you how's my baby you can see for yourself if you can get back up there more can cut I could make it. Let's see that fancy footwork, Gamora. Bet you can't do this. That is physically impossible. <laughs> Drax, think you can heft that container? Behold the might of a Katathian warrior! Need some help moving, Drax. With ease. Can you move it over there? Done. Wow. He's way stronger than he is. In... Well, that's helpful. I did as our leader bid. Not all of us are so quick to disobey. Make up your mind. Are you mad I served Thanos or that I betrayed him? Neither inspire confidence. All right, well, nothing over here. Hey, big guy, lift that thing up. I will drop it where you command. It'll look real good right here. I am on my way. Remember this moment should you ever think of crossing me, assassin. I'll remember how slowly you moved. 
All right, Rocket. We're back on track. Huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, good for you. Oh, yeah. It ain't stealing if it's abandoned. We... Oh, come on. Rocket. Not now, Quill. Rocket. Perhaps he has located our monster. We don't even know what it looks like. The intel was extremely vague. It wasn't vague, it was... rushed. It's probably some cute little... Nightmarish abomination. Lady Hellbender is a renowned warrior. An ideal specimen would reflect that strength. Like I said, something scary. I disagree. Strength is endearing. My little Camaria and her mother Hovat were two of the strongest people who ever lived. I bet it's something cute. Women dig the cute stuff, right? Yes. All women in the entire universe get weak in the knees when they see something fluffy. Lady Hellbender is an exceptional female. She would desire only the most worthy of pets. You've never seen a baby otter playing with its hands. I cannot refute this. Once we deliver her prize, Lady Hellbender could become an influential ally. How so? They say that the mere mention of her name can end a negotiation. Do you want to turn the Guardians of the Galaxy into a No. I want people to offer us bigger tasks because they fear her rack. I'm insane, Drax. Uh. is a distinct sensation, navigating this wreck. Katathians call it the Shadow's Gaze. Now that you mention it, I have felt like I was being watched. Perhaps our prey is stalking us. I say, let it come. Have you guys notice anything weird about this place? You mean besides the comms going dead for no reason? Whoa! Hey, what? Just stay oh, well, oh, yeah. You got some timing. We got company. Hey, the whole team. Is it from the last dumper? We haven't even placed it yet. This place is crawling with monsters. They are food for our glory. Let's get focused on the upcoming food on sale. This ain't looking good! We need to regroup! You're right! This isn't working! Peter! I've learned! It's like you woke up the whole ship! It's on our Just hang in there! Say, it's and scary out there, Quill. Flarknard's on the field. Danger on all sides. It's time we stand and face it and make sure they're nullified. Are we heroes to be laughed at? No! I'll laugh at them instead. Who's with me? Wise words, Peter Quill. We are! Feel it! I got... You motivated the team. Did you guess wrong? Only you would have gotten it. Win, lose, or say nothing. Everyone's resurrected. Quill, watch it! I'm ready! Find me an opening! There's your chance, Gamora! Like a hot knife! You're not too big to skewer! What? Her guy's dizzy! Hit him where it hurts! You don't have to ask me twice! One 
last freaky eye thing! We're just killing party favors! Boom! Glorious! Bring on our monster! I am engorged with the... Drum of battle. Didn't need to hear that. Come on, last thumper spot is this way. How do you know? My senses are fine-tuned to measure even the tiniest vibrations. Really? No, I'm tracking it on my display. It looks like it's still got some juice. Give it a go, Rocket. What a genius at work. You are a miracle worker, man. This tech was built by people who make holes in giant floating space rocks. It's almost insulting. Okay. I am good. We'll need a good staging spot for the last thump. I'll know it when I see it. I have to say, that is an immaculate parking job. Thanos never tolerated imperfection. Never been a problem for Quill. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is it. Last spot. Can't wait to be out of here. This place feels like it's about to collapse on itself. I cannot wait to meet our monster. I thought you were mostly interested in meeting the buyer. She is a respectable collector. Is it working? Yeah, yeah, don't worry, Sunshine. <laughs> Ow! Is it, uh, doing it? What? It appears to be broken! <laughs> Ain't nothing broke! That's the sound it's supposed to make! What sound? You can't hear that! Hear what? Oh. Dog was Our monster has arrived. I see it. Good. Oh, crap, the door we it works. Let's catch our monster. Not a monster. He's supposed to be dead! Adorable. It's more matted than an Asgardian goat. We cannot present this pathetic creature to the monster queen of Sektoff 9. She will laugh at us. Maybe we can use it as bait. I knew those thumpers wouldn't work. What? My thumpers are state of the art. Musclehead's the one who rushed at the first thing that came through the door. My head is not made of muscle.
guys seeing Space what I'm seeing? Well. Yes, now that is a monster. All right, enough with the warm up. Time to catch us a real monster. <laughs> Let's get paid. Whose name is that? Definitely not cleaner bots. Watch it! The place is crapping out. We gotta get out of here now. Curse these volatile ruins! Cracks, go! Hold on to your butts, people. Rocket, hit the music! On it! Focus on flying, Peter! Someone play this man a song! <laughs> now we're talking! Watch the ship! I'm watching, I'm watching! You wait! Drax, what are you doing? I am holding my buttocks as Peter Blue instructed. Watch Arr! it! Someone give me a hand! <laughs> am I right? How about one upside the head? Yet. Maybe we are, and this is hell. Do not be ridiculous. This place lacks the eternal frost of Sardou. Your hell is frozen? Catathians do not like to be cold. Try putting on a shirt! Uh, see? He's so... Brute says watch out! Yeah, thanks for the heads up! I want to steal. We ain't gonna make it. Hit the blue button. What blue button? The one for the secret posters I added. Can you please stop adding things while I'm asleep? Punch it, Peter. Now is not the time for hand-to-hand -hand combat. Oh, 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 oh. Look, yeah, definitely a fan of the blue button. Scott on all sides, we ain't gonna make it! We'll make it! Maybe! There's the exit! See? Hope stretch! Go to last breath! Yeah! And that's what I call a win, people! How's that a win? Our monster just got eaten! Whatever you can fly away from... Means you screwed up because you had to fly away from it. <laughs> Please don't be Novacore, please don't be Novacore, please don't be Novacore. It is Novacore. Thus begins the game. Designation, Hallis Hope. Uh, did you say Hallis Hope? Um, <clears throat> there's a, a, a thing I got. I gotta do. I'll, I'll be right back. So, closed caption, subtitles as well. We need to get rid of that animal. Now. <sighs> I'm serious, Peter. If it stays on the ship, we all go to prison. No one's going to jail. It's a harmless space llama thingy. Harmless? 
Remember Inakubi? Uh, not really, no. That's because they scorched the planet because an idiot smuggled in an Exelon. I will eject the beast into space. Whoa, 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 we're not ejecting anything. It'll make us look guilty. <laughs> it could be carrying Zephron's disease. Which is why Drax is gonna hide. Oops. Uh, in the secret how am I liking it so far? Plants. Peter. It's pretty good. Jason. It's different. Quill. I don't know what I expected, but it's. Peter, my middle name. Hey, it's like you're in control of one character. How you but doing? You how long has it been? Command. Two, three years? You look good. You been tanning? Interesting. This is a new low, Peter. Even for you. Corral. I swear it's not what it looks like. That you're a junker trespassing in the most restricted area of space? Who consorts with thieves and murderers, apparently. Hey, killing people for money ain't murder, lady. <laughs> Funny story, actually. The nav crapped out and routed us through the quarantine zone. Your navigation malfunctioned. What can I say? As soon as we noticed the air, we plotted a course out, and that's when you showed up. Right. Peter Quill, I found these items in the uh, space that you told me about. <laughs> there was not enough room for both the other thing and these. Peter Quill, of planet C-53, under galactic law ZXB-47, I am putting you and your crew under arrest for- Actually, can I call you back? What? Please tell me that is not a crate of super illegal tech. It is a crate of super illegal tech, which also happens to be very valuable. Really? What? We're on a Ravager ship. Even the Flark and Bulkheads are stolen. Well, we can't fit both in the compartment. I will eject the crate into space. Eject the crate, and I melt your face! The Milano's weapon systems are four generations behind, Quill. We need that tech. More than we need some stupid farm animal. That farm animal could be a Class Three biohazard. You want to end up in the kiln? Hide Rocket's crate. Peter! You're willing to gamble on a space llama thingy? I'll convince Corel the llama's harmless. She knows me. And I know Corel. Not like I did. You slept with a cop? <laughs> he wasn't a cop back then. The point is, I can get us out of this, guys. You just gotta trust me. I am good. Oh, and that would be your boarding party. And I am wondering how much of a difference the choices you make. Man. Like, because there are some games where it doesn't matter if you make either choice, you still end up having the same thing happen. So. Yeah, I don't know anything about this. Just speak to Centurion Corral. Silence, prisoner. Goodness. no time to meet with law-breaking pirates like you. That's just it. We're not pirates. We're legally incorporated heroes for hire. Yeah, that's right. You check those records, Buckethead. Novacore licensing permit 67398-2. Gardeners of the galaxy? <laughs> no. Rocket. So I let Groot fill out the paperwork. I fixed it. Gardeners the of the galaxy. Not the most well-known heroes you could hire, but definitely in the top five of... Most awesome names. Contributing members. Groot, a Flora Colossus. Last of his kind, fearless in a firefight, an awesome best friend. Rocket, bona fide super genius and a wizard with explosives. Definitely not a raccoon. Gamora, adopted daughter of Thanos. Deadliest woman in the galaxy. Need we say more? Drax the Destroyer. Convicted serial murderer and galactic war hero, often grumpy. Last and definitely least, Peter Jason Quill. That's it? That's all you wrote? It was a character limitation. <sighs> Sorry, excuse me, I just need to... Cadet Gold, what are you doing here? Oh, you don't know? What a bunch of a-holes. It says right here. Prisoner processing training. I'm your official trainee. Aren't you a little young for the Corps? Aren't you a little old for that hairdo? <clears throat> I should check with the captain. No. No, 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 no. She, she definitely signed off on this. You know how thorough she is about signing stuff? If I may, sir, the real concern here is Regulation 7A regarding prisoner footgear. That one's jet boots are in clear violation. They're decorative. 
<laughs> they're decorative. Good work, Cadet Gold. Great. There goes Plan B. They're decorative. Oh, that's good. You don't need a Plan B. I got this. No, you do not got this, pirate. I got this. Uh oh. Now fall in line. Time to go, prisoners. Watch the jacket. Cadet Gold. You know the arrest protocols? All memorized, sir. First thing we do... First thing you do is apologize. We're legitimate business-like folk on legitimate-like business. We're not hunting an illegal creature in illegal space. There's so much wrong with this arrest. A, no way a kid should be here. I'm an official trainee. And B, I'm very, very close friends with the captain. Uh, hold it right here. Is there a problem? Yes! No faith, energy, no power. No power. No containment. A single spot. The techs are looking at it. They say that... They cannot even fathom. How can they fix what they cannot understand? Put the Grand Unifier's mind at ease. Run the scanner. Take it easy, Callum. What the Thanks for hanging out. Grand Unifier. Grand Unifier Raker. Grand Unifier. Leader of the Church of... Universal... Something. He was floating dead in the quarantine zone. Looking for God. All right, pirates. Go. We caught him just like we caught you. Difference is, I know the captain. As I was saying, if you just tell the captain that I. Mom explicitly said she doesn't want to see you. Mom. Yeah, Quill. Wait. Did she just say mom? Admit it that you know nothing. Just to be no. super clear on the mom thing. the right button but apparently at the wrong time. Hey kid, are you there? Activate my jet boots and I can save you. Oh, Kick in during emergencies. Pretty sure I can override them with my passkey. They give out override keys to trainees? Not exactly. Just give me a sec. Come on, come on. You no, know, I could probably help with the door if we undid these cuffs. Regulation 3B. Never undo restraints. Come on, you clearly need my help. No! You're my prisoner. And I got this. <sighs> Obviously. Ah! 
You sure there isn't a way through here? I'm in charge here. A senior officer. Whoa! <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You? Oh, dandy. Okay, this way. Shouldn't we be going up? Back toward the others? There's another blast door down here. Don't we establish a special... <laughs> Are you kidding me? Relax, you're fine, ish. I mentioned how useful my jet boots will be right now. Okay, I can do this. Not to rush you or anything. Most there. Components. Yes, got it. Through here. Whew. <laughs> nice work. Thanks. You didn't do too bad yourself, pirate. Call me Star Lord. Or Peter, or, you know, Nova Cadet butt saver. Okay. Peter. So, listen. I have some good news and some bad news about your friends. Uh, start with the bad, I guess. Your friends have been processed and put in the brig. So what's the good news? They're not dead. One of them actually seems really active. That's probably Rocket. Prison cells make him jumpy. See why? Oh man! Any day now. After right, seeing right. the new Just movie, taking it all in. Taking it all in. Where do you think you're going? Just making sure this place is safe and secure from the. Come on, we'll be safe through here. Trying to get Clark. away. Pipes must have burst. mention I'm allergic to handcuffs? Should we try using that thingamajig of yours to call someone? We don't need help. I know what I'm doing. Now help me block this fire so we can get through. Sure. Just that everyone must be worried. Cap easy, does it? There, see? You don't need to worry about me. Enough people around here do that already. For what it's worth, I think you're doing great. As good an arresting officer as I've ever had. Are you seriously trying to sneak away on me right now? You literally just said I was doing great. You are doing great. Top five best arresting officers I've ever had. Cool. So can you please just show me the same respect you would any other arresting officer? <laughs> That's exactly huh. what I'm doing. <laughs> Are you familiar with Regulation 15B? Didn't the you one show about me the same respect you give any other officer? <laughs> that's exactly <laughs> what I'm doing. I'm pretty sure that's not a real thing. I'm running, yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, I get that a lot. Is that robot wearing makeup? What? Oh, yeah. That's just it's. I, um, I know all the bots down here. They're kind of my friends, I guess. I reprogrammed most of them. You gave them faces. Maybe. No, I mean it's cool. Gives them personality. Very cool. Come on, this way. That one doesn't have a face. Are you sure you know where you're going? Of course I know where I'm going. The Hollis Hope is my ship. I mean, it's not your ship. Yeah, could you please try to keep up? Hey, you try walking around in cuffs. Okay, wow. That's <laughs> just blatantly gonna ignore me and go crawling into a dead end. For your information, there's an escape hatch back here I could totally use to run away. But out of respect for your authority, I'm gonna, you know, ignore it and follow your lead. <laughs> Regulation 2B. Prisoners must stay close at all times. I know. I didn't have a lot of friends at your age either. Granted, I was in prison, but still. So mom was right about you. It was a Shatari prison. I was just a kid. I have so many questions. Were your parents in prison too? No, my mom, uh, died. I didn't know my dad. <laughs> Do you know my mom, exactly? Uh, we fought together on Mercury during the war. She was, uh, is, 
A real spitfire. More like real controlling. And bossy. And judgmental. You're just a kid, Nikki. You don't know what's good for you, Nikki. Stay out of the escape pods, Nikki. Pretty sure all kids get annoyed with their moms. But, as you get older, you realize they're right more often than not. Ugh. Whatever. So, what did you make of the explosion back there? I saw as much as you did. Okay. Almost there. Almost where? You'll see. I'm still in charge here, you know. Of course you are. It's still this way. Keep in mind, these could be my last few moments of freedom. This way. Okay. Clearly Quick gonna reminder that everything. only one of us. It's a dead end. Trust me. Of course I trust you. Clearly. This is another one of your bots? Yeah, her name's Jocasta. Uh, she keeps an eye out for stuff. Invaders, trespassers. Prisoners who keep wandering off. Get back here, pirate! Wow, wow, okay. Could have sworn I heard Corel there for a second. Are you sure this is the quickest way to the brig? I thought you didn't want to go to the brig. Okay. Just trust me. I want to show you something. If this is an attempt to escape your mom's ship, I really need to know. Because I may or may not be super interested. Just really need to make sure it doesn't look like a kidnapping. What? No, no. <laughs> oh, wow. Don't laugh. No, no. This is cool. It's like your secret hideout, right? I definitely prefer this to the brig. We're not staying. I just need to check on Ultimo. His uh, gyros are going to make sure it does not look time. like a kidnapping. Oh, that's good. <clears throat> Is this your mom, single-handedly winning the war? Obviously, I know she didn't do it by herself. No. That final push was, uh... It was a massive team effort. Were you there? Uh, I contributed to the war effort... differently. Pirating? Raiding. Which is, you know, the good kind of pirating. Is this... Krilar? Uh, yeah. Long time ago. Kid stuff. I could do it way better now. No, no, it's good. Morbid, but good. Hey, this is Mercury, right? Uh-huh. It's supposed to represent this big battle Mom was part of. You said you were there, right? Oh, yeah. Your mom was dead in the water until me and the Ravagers showed up. You should really fix this. You want me to draw you in? In the interest of historical accuracy. <laughs> Universal Translator. Wonder if it speaks Groot. Something tells me you and Rocket would get along. Or really, really not get along. One of those two. The raccoon thing? Yeah. He seemed real charming. I just mean he's also really into all this tech stuff. Need a hand? Nope. But thanks. I'm almost done. Hey! Secret stuff. Off limits. No adults. I get it. Anyway, I'm all done here. We should probably get back before Mom completely freaks. Yeah, I've seen your mom overreact before. It's like, I'm not a kid anymore, you know? Tell me about it. <laughs> More crawling, yay! So, you get where I'm coming from, right? Like, if you do end up talking to my mom, the subject of me happens to come up. Because the truth is, I wasn't exactly supposed to... Say no more. I'll make sure Corel knows what a good job you did. No! I mean, thanks. But ideally, mom never needs to know I was in the hangar at all. So I... Never saw you? Exactly! Never saw me! Never saw my passkey! You may have heard of Nikki Gold and how cool she is, but that's it. <sighs> Almost at the elevator. We're Need a hand? Yes! Strange. Got it! Mom? 
I can explain. Uh, I can explain. <sighs> Nikki, I'm fine. Mom, seriously, a okay, barely a scratch. What in Hall's name were you thinking? Sneaking out with an arresting squad, running around with criminals. Alleged criminals. You almost died. Do you have any idea how grounded you are right now? Mom, you promised to give me more leeway. Leeway doesn't mean lying to my officers or sneaking around behind my back. Look, it's my fault some guy's ship blew up. Restricted areas are restricted for a reason. You treat me like a prisoner. You're a child. Are you even listening? Whoa, whoa. We've all been through a lot today. Let's just all take a deep breath and recognize that maybe we've all made some mistakes. Make sure the fire is out and the hangar secure. Yes, Commander. And find out why that churchman's shuttle exploded. Grand Unifier Raker has been less than cooperative. Make him cooperate. And you two? With me. I knew you'd overreact. You always overreact. Even Peter was saying so. Oh, he was, was he? I suspect Peter misspoke, something he often tends to do. So I suggest you worry less about what he said, and more about what I'm saying now. For what it's worth, Nikki totally saved my butt. She handled herself really well, and you have every reason to be proud of her. Coming from you, Peter, it's worth extraordinarily little. Why are you being mean to him? Just listen to what he's saying. I don't care what he's saying. Upper level. Captain's quarter. Finally. Initiate lockdown. Lockdown initiated. What, are you gonna kill us? In theory, these doors don't open until I say so. Yeah, I know how lockdown works. I don't think you do, because somehow you keep bypassing every security measure on this ship, and I want to know how. Or you can just show me. Mom! <laughs> you know, this reminds me of the last time I was stuck in an elevator. I was with this Shi'ar girl, and she... Ew! What is wrong with you? She was a lovely person. Someone, please get me out of here. No one leaves until you tell me what I want to know. You already know everything. No, I don't. I know you're a magnet for danger, and that you somehow keep getting caught in restricted areas of this ship. I'm small. Okay? I fit into places. Being small doesn't get you past security, or through the hangar bay checkpoint, or the maintenance tunnel blast doors, or even into the sub-level I just found you in. Your mom deserves to know what happened. An exploding ship is a very serious thing. I didn't blow up a ship! Okay, clearly not what I meant. How was my 12-year-old daughter anywhere in the vicinity of that ship? 12? Oh, wow, I thought she was at least 16. Peter! <laughs> what? She really knew her stuff. She's a smart kid. Too smart. She keeps bypassing security. 12. Unless you have a level 6 access to my ship all of a sudden? Didn't think so. Nicolette Gold, empty your pockets. No. You empty your pockets. Nikki? What? I know you're hiding something. I'm not. You are- I still have feelings for you. Excuse me? Not like feelings feelings, but more like emotions. You know, because of the explosions and me and you and everything we went through back in the war. Good now. Okay, good. Now, if you don't mind. You stole a passkey? I didn't steal it. I made it. Points for ingenuity. Disengage lockdown. Lockdown disengaged. So. Can I go help secure the hangar now? No, you can go back to your quarters and you can stay there for the next 30 rotations. But mom! I can make rotations. it 30 cycles. Uh -oh. Day, huh? Exploding shuttles, quarantine zone trespassers, missing kid. You have no idea. 
Chewie. I can't believe you still have him. Can't believe you survived. Mercury was what, like a thousand degrees? More like a thousand cycles ago. You can keep him if you want. He is yours. Hey, I ordered him to look out for you. Expect him to keep doing his job. Especially, you now have a daughter, apparently. Twelve-year-old daughter, who you didn't have during the war. Twelve years ago, when we... Peter. When we picked up your ship, part of me was excited. At first. But then after all this time, you haven't changed. Well. At all. You're still the same. I've changed. Whatever the fine is, I'll pay. Just give me three cycles. Let me prove that I'm not still whatever it is you're going to finish that sentence with. You're going to pay 8,000 units in three cycles? Wow, okay, that is a lot of money. I was thinking that maybe... The fine's non-negotiable. My search party found a Class II biohazard wandering around your ship. That's all they found, right? Okay, okay, you'll get your money on time, no problem. This Guardians of the Galaxy thing, we are this close to getting it off the ground. And if I didn't have these handcuffs on... I would show you just how very close we are. Why do I feel like I'll regret this? Oh, come on. When have I ever... You won't regret it! I promise. I only just started seeing the messages up in the corner that, like, tell you what's going on. You just got fined 8,000 units. Just started noticing. You've got three cycles, Peter. Not four. <sighs> Not five, three. <laughs> Contact me when you've got the units. And if we don't? The device we installed will deactivate your ship. And you will all go to prison. <laughs> gotcha. We won't let you down. What the hell, Peter? You said you could get us out of this. I did. 8,000 units is a small price. 8,000 units? That is a tremendous sum. Where are we gonna get that kind of money in three cycles? I robbed a freaking of bank, what? apparently. Okay, so we got fined. So we have a Nova tracking thing on our ship that's gonna shut down our engines if we don't pay that fine in three cycles. At least we're not on a prisoner transport. Not yet. Oh, come on, guys. You're Drax the Destroyer, man. You killed Thanos. Allegedly. Are you gonna let a little fine slow you down? <laughs> And Gamora, you're practically an MI6 agent, but way hotter and cooler. There's nothing you can't do. Here it comes. Rocky, you're an actual genius and the scrappiest dude I know. How many prisons did you break out of? Seven. Seven. I am Groot. You are Groot. You are Groot. Yes, we're supposed to be a team. All we need to do is figure out how broke we are and come up with a plan. So check your quarters. Check between the sofa cushions. Check under the crafting bench. If you find any spare units lying around, grab them. I'll do the same in my quarters. All right. This is why you don't sleep with cops, Quill. They put bombs on my ship. My ship. <sighs> Go to your room and see if you find any. Yeah. I am watching you, Rodent. What's that supposed to mean? It is common knowledge that rodents hoard nuts, stolen technology, units. <sighs> okay, first off, I ain't a hoarder nor a rodent. I know you have a stash hidden aboard this ship. Fetch it now. There ain't nothing to fetch. Groot blew our stash on Contraxia, and the rest I gave to Quill and Gamora for the Dash Quarantine Zone access code. A likely story. Why don't you go bother someone else? I intend to. Yeah. Open this door! I know you are in there, sentient tree! I don't go into your room and touch your stuff, Quill. What? 
You hacked my visor and added a scoreboard to it while I was sleeping. <laughs> eh, that was different. I improved it. Also, did anyone tell you that you snore? I thought Drax was bad, but wow. Quill, you should really get that checked. You sound like a Torg. I don't snore that loud. <laughs> yeah, okay. So what is this thing anyway? It kind of looks like a metal face hugger. That is clearly a spinal control unit. Yes, right, of course, a spinal control thingy. Back on Half-World, Kree scientists used these to keep us super soldiers in line. Uh, they'd press a big, fun red button and zap! Instant obedience. Oh. <laughs> Holy crap. Rocket. What exactly did the Kree do to you? They ripped me apart and rebuilt me over and over and over again until I became this half-finished thing they could mold and shape and control. Oh, Rocket, I had no idea. I mean, I knew the Kree Empire was desperate, but... Do you know what it's like to lose all control of your body? To be in constant pain, trapped inside yourself, and able to stop the horrible things you're doing? <laughs> that control unit made sure I did what I was supposed to do. Oh yeah, whether I wanted to or not. <laughs> A neat, furry little machine of death. Didn't take long to figure out I was better off not fighting it. Okay, then let's shoot this thing out the airlock. Have a little middle finger salute ceremony to the bastards who built it. Uh, yeah. I don't think I'm ready to let go of that part of me yet. Maybe one day. Are you 100% sure you want to keep it? What if it... Controls me? Eh, I decided a long time ago, Quill, that I would never let anyone control me again. As far as I'm concerned, this is just another useful piece of junk and a few bad memories. How many of you super soldiers were there on Half-World? When the Lila. She was the first one not to die from the control unit. And Lila is also a... What? A raccoon? Or not a raccoon. You gotta understand. She was afraid of them, and the control unit made sure we stayed in line. That I stayed in line. An otter. Oh, that sounds... awful. I can't imagine. So, I did what I do best. I found a way to overload the control unit. When the Blueskins let us out of our cage, kaboom! <laughs> I blew a hole into the side of the lab. Well, we didn't know. What I didn't know was that the lab was protected by sentry bots. We got to the security fence and Lila covered me while I hacked the modulator frequency and as soon as it opened, she pushed me through the door. I heard a die quill. Ah, oh, rocket. Doesn't matter now. Past is the past, right? It's similar. And that thing? <laughs> to just a moon. reminder. I'm sorry you had to go through all that, Rocket. For real. Hey. Hey, Bluebird, you copy? I know you think I sold you out, and... Who's Bluebird? Uh, Gamora, I was just... Who are you talking to? What's a Bluebird? It, um... was Yondu's call sign. <laughs> Danta, leader of the Ravager Space Pirates. Call sign? <laughs> Even had it embroidered on the back of his jacket. Amazing. It was amazing. How did you two meet? We met on Chitari Prime, about three years into my sentence. Wait, Yondu was a prisoner of war? They were, and... I don't really want to talk about this, right? Sure, 
Okay, so looking at the items just starts conversations where you can hear about lore, apparently. Looking for money. Let's see if we can find some stray units in here. Really? Thirty-seven units? We appear to be 7,963 units short. If we intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill... I know, I know. We clearly need a plan and reconsider my initial proposal oh no, not fin fang foom again yes we should go after fin fang foom drax there are easier ways to get paid like what about selling gamora's crap what oh come on you've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us i mean don't tell me they ain't worth nothing the quarantine zone was always She's holding out on my us, figurines are not knickknacks huh, team's in trouble then you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice for the i Star will sacrifice system. your head and take us to the majestic uh, mountains yeah, of mature. Real mature. Was... guys i think we should hear our group for once I... He says we should combine both ideas. Sell Gamora's trinkets to Fin Fang Foom. It is brilliant. Yeah, you know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters, and you are not a monster. He's not. He's the sweetest, most. I am Groot. No, you don't. This ain't something you can pretend. I am Groot. Oh, yeah? You want monster? I'll show you monster! Whoa, guys! Groot, are you really offering to- No, no, he is not offering that, okay? It could work. Sell Groot? I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. The small, ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He is cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. Monster Queen would pay a great sum for such a creature. Really? How great? How are you okay with this? Because I know what I am. And I know what he ain't. I am Groot. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? Oh. Well, Rocket's definitely scarier on the inside. He's unstable and vicious and totally oblivious to the needs of others. <clears throat> okay, we, uh, we get it, Quill. The point is, is I think you'd make a fine monster. And we'll definitely need that tactical brain of yours to bust you out once you're in there. But just to be 100% sure, you're definitely okay with this. Uh... <laughs> Are you kidding? I can't wait to hold this over you. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. We're not seriously flying into that. They say the weather patterns of Seknarf 9 are tied to the temperament of its ruler. That's not how women work. Or weather. Anyways, I'm sure it looks worse than it is. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> Piece of cake. <sighs> you can't be serious. What? This way we can scope things out before we finish the transaction. We're like a hundred clicks from her base. You know how much I like scoping. Nope. Okay. Next time, I'm flying. Monsters do not fly ships. Monsters do whatever they want. <laughs> don't you get all gloomy right now. It don't help. Because you're constant complaining, Daz? <laughs> you, you are complaining about the short one complaining. We're all complaining. Happy? Doing, doing, done. All right, now that was some quality crafting, if I might say so myself. Impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> Let's just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. There is nothing to figure out. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Hellbender. Good! We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant part. Good thing I put on my official merchant costume. There is no such thing. Right? The fact you ain't sure don't vote so good. Ouch! Hey, is my jacket all right? At least you got a jacket. Some of us are soaking here. Less whining, more walking. Hey, Stormlord, we ain't seriously walking through this. It'll take forever in this storm. Stop complaining. The hardship will strengthen your spirit. At least we'll have time to think about our sales pitch. Small furry creature, lightly used. We got this. Just don't fall and we'll be fine. Agreed. We must face Lady Hellbender's rage head on. Almost sounds like you want to get hit by lightning. I would not expect a Chitari trader to understand the underlying value. The underlying value of getting killed. Of being direct, you child of subterfuge. What is your problem? Lady Hellbender scoffs upon duplicity and dishonor. Your reputation is why she tests us. Can we refocus here? We're here to trick some lady, not kill each other. She's not just some lady. Lady Hellbender is a known warrior. And a queen. And stinking rich. Exactly. She's a stinking rich. <laughs> that was way too close. Well played, Lady Hellbender. Perfectly reasonable. This storm really ain't doing it for me, Quill. It is no storm. It is her monstrous breath. Yeah, well, her breath ain't doing it for me either. She doesn't even know we're here. Can we at least agree this was the worst landing in history? Okay, so maybe this wasn't my most perfect landing. Happy? No. Guys, focus. Keep an eye out on those big blue ones and take cover when they hit, or we'll get blown right off! Good advice!
should have gone to Maku 4. Hey, check out the old resistance ship. Things been shot to hell. No doubt by this one and her Chitauri friends. We weren't friends. Uh, guys. I am good. Eh, not sure. But it ain't moving now. It would be wary, Rudy. Uh, you know what? I survived freaking half world. I think I'm scared of some little bit. Ah! He's not alone. Get ready. monster around here looks like? We are outside Lady Hellbender's sanctuary. The creatures here are not her pets. They sort of do look like food. We're gonna be food if we don't climb out of here. No sales? Shoot stuff. Having fun? Didn't think I'd ever be shooting at a resistance ship. Mud in this area smells queer. It's them jelly things we fought. I think they, uh, you know. Loose reactor isn't dangerous, is it? It can be, if you know what you're doing. Drax, you could pull this reactor out gently, right? If it were combustible, the rodent would have shot it by now. He makes an excellent point. Well, I'll continue ripping it apart. No, no, no. I think we're good. What's a resistance ship doing all the way out here anyway? Great, we made it halfway up. Now what? Maybe if we could lower that wing somehow. This husk should be easier to climb than the muddy terrain. I ain't comfortable calling it a husk, seeing as we're about to climb it at all. Clearly not a husk! It is the hollowed husk of a bygone time, when the turmoil of war raged stronger than the storm. There they are! Duh. Wing controls! All right, Rocket. That wing control panel's all yours. Hope it still works. Great. Everyone watch out for beeping red lights. What? Why? This is a resistance ship. We'll be lucky if there's only one booby trap on it. That don't sound like no jelly thing. They say that Lady Hellbender's call echoes throughout the planet. That don't sound like no lady either. Found a thing.
Careful! Looks like something big moved through here. Yay! If you see anything with claws the size of Drax, let me know. I thought we already had our monster. What's he tracking this thing for? Or sport? Nothing wrong with a little sport. A girl has to keep busy. You are looking for trouble, assassin. Aside from Lady Hellbender? We are clearly not wanted on this planet. I don't know. Rocket, can you take care of those branches? You want me to blow it up? That shouldn't be our answer to everything. Good thing we have a plant guy to take care of a plant problem. He says plants aren't problems. Can you get us through here, Gamora? Whatever it takes to find Hellbender. Her name is Lady Hellbender. Yeah, Gamora. If we want an audience, we will have to start showing some respect. This, from the guy who calls me Harlot Spawn of Thanos. An accurate description. We all know which Harlot Spawn is the first. But what about her sister Nebula? Mm. I forgot about the blue Harlot Spawn. Gamora's actually adopted, so not even that accurate. Uh, yeah. Also, not a Harlot. Right, right. That, too. We'll need to find a way out of this jungle. Why? It's dry down here. Wouldn't you rather be wet than lost? Not particularly. I am eager to experience Lady Hellbender's legendary menagerie. Uh, now where'd he go? Hey, Quill! You out laying your eggs or something? That is not how Terrans reproduce. Not how most Terrans reproduce. That's what makes our Quill so special. Interesting. I don't lay eggs. Hmm. Looks more alien than the other ones. They are all alien. I know. Uh, dead end. That's just great. Wait, is that Chitauri tech over there? Ask the Chitauri. No, no, it is. It's a retractable bridge. They used them at the prison I was in. Huh? Too bad the controls are on the other side of the giant chasm. We what are you? do not have time to dawdle in this jungle. I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your face! Put me down! <laughs> It'll be fine, just curl up in a ball. What? Drax, throw him. No! Very well! Peter! It's ah! okay, he'll land on his feet. Uh, I guess that only applies to cats. You sons of sharks! I am not familiar with these words. Filthy grunt scum, but I think he's making them up. Lots. He's really pissed. <laughs> you can run, you free bag and fuck At least he's not shooting at us. He missed on purpose, right? Order the beast to do its job. Rocket, come on, man. Cram it, fast face. Fix the bridge and we'll raise your cut by 5%. I want 10. Okay, deal. Take it out of Groot's cut. He doesn't understand money anyway. <laughs> What's Shatari tech doing out of backwater mud? That's really perfect. The killer was the leading swarm, and it was among the spoils. Maybe. Or maybe she was real cozy with the bugs. <laughs> Ridiculous. Statues are of the monsters on this planet? Thanks for the bridge, Rocket. If you even think of pulling that Wait, Scott again. Hear that? Boys oh. up, people! Incoming! <laughs> These things are fast and deadly! Let's take a focus! Oh, no, no, yeah. Look out! Mitsu! I will face 
as well. Where the flock are we? Just look around. Guess I should have checked and seen what I could have gotten. Rapid fire. Well, at least it does a fair amount of damage. There must be a path here somewhere. Surprise, surprise. Another statue. I'll take weird statues over weird monsters any day. We we're in the business of selling monsters to statues. Yeah? I'm also in the business of not getting killed. Kind of a side thing I got going. Hellbender has eyes everywhere. Of course they do. Gamora, pretty sure it's this way. 50 units, says it ain't. He doesn't have 50 units. I... No way are we almost there. Still got like half a planet to walk across. Lady Hellbender could cross this jungle in seven strides. Sure she could. Or she would have flown over the mountains. I heard she shoots lasers out of her eyes. Now we're talking. Ah, I have not heard that one. I heard there are actually nine of her. That's why they call it Sector 9. Ha! That, that is preposterous. That one's preposterous. That bridge isn't the only thing, Shatari. Some of these statues look familiar if you catch my drift. If these mouth breathers worship monsters, maybe they'd have seen space and bugs as gods. You belittle the Seknarfians, know nothing of their ways. I know folks that carve idols worship. The more am I cutting us a path? They say that Lady Hellbender feels it every time you cut a piece of her jungle. Oh, an old Nova bomber. I haven't seen one of these since the war. I remember it used to take a dozen ships to bring one down. A dozen ships? 
for one Chitauri infantry. I'll take that one as a compliment. Now what's the hold up? Here. No! Just thinking someone else should cross the death pit first. Me and Groot are the merchandise. Only one of you is the merchandise. Plan A and Plan B, okay? Anyone else feeling ready to move on? Groot says no. Just go. No, you just go. go. Don't leaders usually cross first? Not if it's dangerous. <laughs> because I need to cover everyone. Right. See, it's fine. Perfectly safe. Fine. Do not even think of pushing the assassin. There are so many better ways to kill someone. Easy does it. says there's something down there. Monster. It doesn't matter. Of course it matters. It's unstable either way. Just move. Oops. Pressed it too soon, apparently. Oh, that's so weird. Time I didn't do a double jump. Nice catch. You're welcome. Don't get used to it. Peter Quill. We are not alone here! Yeah, I got it. Guys, anyone know what that is? Running away. That its tail between its legs. I say we go after it. Finish the job. Anyone ever tell you you're scary? Yes. I mean, there's obviously a way out up there, which is exactly what we need. Plus, it'll give us eyes on where we need to go. Then it's settled. Let's scale this down contraption. Yeah, okay. Okay, that's gonna that? do it for Good me. Good question. 
thanks for tuning in. I'll be back playing more Guardians of